to my dearest great-grandchildren in all the years I lived in this manner. I discovered the answers to many mysteries that have tested my faith and helped me believe in things that I cannot see. Now, it's your turn to solve them for yourselves. I've enclosed the first of many clues. If you so choose to follow it, you too will unlock the greatest mysteries of all time. I am excited for what you will find soon. All my love, Great Grandpa Piffpaff. Whoa! Hey, watch it! Um, a little help here? Um, both of my hands are full. No worries. Let me help you here. Oh, what are you doing here? I swung by to give your dad the keys to this place. Good to see you. It feels good to be back. It is going to be so great having you and Parker back. Yeah, we're excited. If you need anything, the groundskeeper is right outside. He'll be glad to help. Also, too, I'm right down the road. Sounds good. Yep, have a good day. Okay, bye. Who even was that old guy? That's Uncle Riff Raff, my dad's oldest brother, remember? Oh, I can't believe I have to actually live in this creepy old house. Oh, oh, Parker, you just need to have a little faith. Some of my best childhood memories took place right here at Rosecliff. I think you'll end up loving it. I find that to be highly improbable. Okay, come on. Let's go unpack the study. You'll love it in there. Grandpa Piff Paff had tons of science books. Fine, I'm coming. Oh, not another scary painting. <laughs> All the books. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Parker, um, look. This is a piano I practiced on when I was little. Woohoo. Oh no. <laughs> the dust. No, oh, no, 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 no. Please, please. Okay. I think I'm good this time. I hope so. Oh, not again, not again, not again. Okay. Um, I think that's the last of it. Oh, my chemistry textbook. Yes, the same copy. Okay. Um, I was on page one. Um, okay. Dirty pillows. I knew you would love Grandpa Piff Paff's book collection. He had a textbook on pretty much everything to help him solve all of his cases. Oh, his cases, right. What does that mean? I'm just not convinced he was the world-renowned detective that you claim he was. Of course he was! And I can prove it to you. Sure you can. See? The case of the art mapper. Millions of dollars worth of paintings stolen from these museums. And Grandpa Piff Paff figured out it was an inside job. Art creator all along. Rose, are you sure he wasn't just making up these stories for you? Positive. Look, art thief. In jail. Does this look made up to you? Oh, and let me guess, he wore a detective's hat and a trench coat when he caught him too, right? Oh. Absolutely he did, look! Rose, I don't have time for this. I'm trying to research molecular organic compounds. All right, here we go. Many chemical compounds, including most of the chemicals that are in living things and produced by living things are composed of molecules. Yes, a molecule is a neutral group of atoms that are held together. Hey! Watch it! of the missing sunken treasure. The case of the counterfeit chocolatier. Oh, yeah, rare coins. Rare coins? That's not the case of the Queen's missing coin collection, is it? Uh-huh. Why? Are you interested? No, I'm, I'm not interested. It's just that I've heard of it. I am an avid coin collector myself. Yeah, I know. 
It's, it's just interesting that your great-grandpa was involved in that case. That's all. Our great-grandpa. Rose, for the last time, just because my mom married your dad doesn't make him my great-grandpa. The case of the prized poodle. This one is one of my absolute favorites. The poodle expected to win best in show at the international dog show was dog napped, shaved, and died the night before. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. yeah. A dog died. Oh, no, no. Um, his his fur was shaved, and the part that he had left was died. An awful shade of purple. Look at that. Oh. Poor guy. Yeah. Rough day for him. <laughs> that, was that was a good one. <laughs> well, Grandpa Piff Paff caught that dog napping troublemaker in less than three hours. Okay, I, I got it. Parker, what? There's an envelope with my name on it. It, it has to be from Grandpa Piff Paff, right? Strange, it's just... A tattered letter with random words on it. Well, it's probably because he wrote it when he was 95. Cognitive function significantly declines with age. No, not Grandpa Piff Paffs. He was spry and in his right mind until the very end. I wonder if this is some sort of clue that he left behind for me. That's it. I need a break. Time to unpack. Oh, yeah. Enjoy your snack. Everybody get on your feet. It's time to play Match the Moves. Watch the corners light up and be ready to repeat the pattern you see. Each round will add to the pattern and speed it up. Let's practice our moves. Jump, duck, twist, and shout. Now you're ready. Round one, watch the pattern closely. Twist, shout, duck, your turn. Great job! It's time for round two. Watch carefully. Twist, shout, duck, twist, jump. Let's see your moves. Great job! Last round. It's getting faster now. Twist, shout, duck, twist, jump, duck, shout. Match the moves. You did it! Stay standing for a song. God made everything that I see. By his word, this world came to be. When I doubt, I know he's with me. But I know, I know. God made everything that I see. By his word, this world came to be. When I doubt, I know he's with me. I know, I know My faith is in you I know that you are true I believe when I can see You are real No matter what I feel There's proof, no mystery My faith is in you God made Everything that I see By his word this world came to be When I doubt I know he's with me Well I know, I know God made everything that I see By his word this world came to be When I doubt I know he's with me I know, I know My faith is in you I know that you are true I believe when I can't see
see By his word this world came to be When I doubt I know he's with me I know my faith is in you Great singing everybody You can take a seat Rose, what are you doing? Searching for my next clue, of course. And you need books on anthropology and anatomy. Huh. I'm looking for something about stars. Oh, try astronomy. Okay. Astronomy. See, I knew it started with an A. Thank you. Um, what's with the tissues? Oh, yeah. Prevents the dust when I'm looking through my books. I do not have time for nonstop sneezing in the middle of trying to solve a mystery. Rose, you're so gullible. There is no mystery. You honestly believe that there's nothing to this. Through the stars, this God is. Precisely nothing. Well, it's not a coincidence that he left me that note in my favorite case file that he solved. Oh yeah. That must be why there was the same envelope in that other file, because Grandpa Piffpaff planted us a treasure hunt. Which file? The one about the Queen's rare coins. And you're just telling me about this massive lead now? It's not a lead. It totally is. Rose, you're making a mess with all of these books and these files. We were supposed to have our rooms and this study cleaned up before dinner. <gasps> Another envelope with your name on it. the third floor and... What did you say? The 1343 Edward III Florin. This coin is worth $6.8 million. Well, do you know what's priceless? What? The mystery of a lifetime. Grandpa Pinkpath left this envelope with your name on it. I bet it's another clue. Why would he leave an envelope with my name on it? I don't even know the guy. Because he thought of you as family. Now open it. I'm not gonna open some letter from some old man that I never knew. Plus, I've got research to do, and I just got my room set up. Wait, wait, Parker, please. Please open it. Please open it. Just open it. I'll I'll do your laundry for a month, and I'll clean your toilets, and no, Rose, I won't touch your experiments Rose, you don't. anymore. Rose, 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 I will open the letter if you just stop talking. More random words that don't make any sense. Are, are you satisfied now? Can we both agree that this whole mystery thing is preposterous? Night reveal can prove real. What could that mean? Night reveal. Night reveal can prove real. Night reveal can prove. Of course! Oh, what? It requires hydrocarbons. Yes! You know, I feel like we'll solve this much faster if we work on it together. Rose, I'm not interested. <gasps> Parker, that's it! We have to do this together! Through the night stars reveal, this can prove God is real. See? It works! It oh, fits! Okay, one possible clue, fine, but I guarantee you that that's the last of them. Through the night stars reveal, this can prove God is real. Through the night stars reveal, this can prove God is real. Hey Parker, how would you see the stars? A telescope, obviously. Of course, a telescope. He kept a telescope in the foyer. Always said it was the best view of the constellations. Come on, let's go. You're not going to find anything. Ah, oh, cool. seem to see anything. Hey, you're good with like these gadgety thingies. Can you adjust this? It would probably help if you move this piece of paper blocking the lens. Hmm. Good thinking. Parker, look. I think it's from Grandpa Piff Puff's journal. And we care because. May 5th. When I was a young, young boy, boy, I sometimes wondered if God was real. I couldn't see him. But I knew there must be some explanation for this world we live in and how it came to be. I began to investigate the matter, 
and my journey took me back to the beginning of time, Genesis 1. Before time began, there was nothing. Not even the sun and moon were around. It was a big bunch of emptiness. But God was there. God had a great idea. He wanted to fill up the emptiness. And when God wants you to do something, all He has to do is speak, and it will happen. It's kind of like if you could say, let there be cotton candy, and then all of a sudden, there's a big fluffy bunch of cotton candy right in front of your eyes. God decided it was time to make the whole wide world and everything in it. He didn't do it all at once. It took a little while. On the first day, God said, let there be light, and then light appeared. God called that light day, and the darkness night. Over the next several days, God continued to create the world. He created the bright blue sky, the big oceans, and all the land. God also created the sun that helps everything grow a moon in the night sky, and all of the stars in space. On the fifth day, God created all of the animals that live in the oceans, like great white sharks and tiny minnows. He also made the birds in the air, like the bald eagle and the fast little hummingbird. And then, on day six, God made all of the other animals that live on the land. God wanted someone to enjoy all that he had made, so God created something, or should I say, someone, that he was going to love more than all the rest. People. He said, let us make man to reflect our own image. So God created a man named Adam and a woman named Eve. Then he told them to have a family and to take care of every living thing on the earth. When God had finished creating the world and everything in it, he thought that it was good. Then, on the seventh day, he took a break and rested. Sort of like after you tidy your room. It looks so nice and clean that you just want to sit and look at it because you did such a great job. I've realized something. We can know who God is because of all of the wonderful things that He has created. And He did it just for us. God made things too wonderful to even understand, like how a human eye can see, or how our squishy brains can make our body move. God even made our hearts so that they could be filled with love and so we can love each other. He made the sun shine across the whole earth so that people in two different places can see it at the same time. And God set the sun the perfect distance from the earth so plants can grow and people could live. We might not be able to see God, but we can see all of the wonderful things He has created and know that God is real. He created things that are impossible for people to make. Grandpa Piff Paff must have wanted us to know that God is real before we could truly solve the rest of the mystery. It's impossible to believe that Grandpa Piff Paff planted clues just to tell us Bible stories. Plus, you can't see God. I mean, you honestly trust that he's real because of what this says? Of course I do. But I know you need evidence for things. Well, that's the first sensible thing you've said all day. But the evidence is all around us. We can look at the flowers and, and the animals and the stars. Everything that God created to see that he is 100% real. Okay, I'm willing to admit that it's possible, but I'll need much more than that before I'm fully convinced. That's all right. The more clues we find and the more that Grandpa Piff Paff shows us, I'm sure you'll come around. Now, where do you think the next clue could be? It has to be on this page, right? Oh, maybe it's... Invisible ink or something? Invisible ink? All this dust is getting to your brain. A and this journal page is the end of this so-called mystery. Wait, where are you going? 
I've got actual things to spend my brain power on. God is real. Fellow detectives, a prize painting has been stolen from a famous art exhibit. We've gathered a list of suspects, but need your help finding out who done it. Answer the questions to receive a clue. When we look at things God created, what will we know about him? Is he fake or is he real? Correct. We know God is real by looking at the things he's made. Here's your first clue. A suspicious person wearing glasses has been seen staring at the painting all morning. Who done it? Answer another question to discover another clue. Can people make all the same things that God can make? Right again, God makes things that are impossible for people to make. Here's your second clue. A person wearing a hat was seen running from the scene of the crime. Who done it? Answer one more question to discover your final clue. If God made everything, who made you? Exactly. God made everything and that includes you. And here's your final clue. The thief was seen carrying a large bag. If you think Heidi Hiker stole the painting, stomp your feet. But if you think Baseball Ben stole the painting, clap your hands. Let's find out who done it. After being told her artwork would never hang on their exhibit walls, Heidi Hiker got her revenge by stealing the prize painting. God is real. Now, let's pray and thank God for all that he has taught us today. Hey God, Thank you for showing us that we can always trust that you are real because of all of the amazing things you made. We love you. Amen.